Smash players, let me ask you. When you play Smash Bros seriously, do you think? Do you feel you think all the time or just sometimes? And is this thinking making you play worse or does it make you play better? If you could relate to the difficulty in answering these questions appropriately, it's definitely time already to give this video a share because here on this channel, we don't just talk about what you could do in game, but what you could do out of game mentally for your improvement in anything you desire. When most people compete in Smash, they enter an autopilot state. This would be playing without thinking, and everything is sort of automatic. Now, is playing on autopilot a bad thing? Not at all. Your autopilot is what your brain relies on to perform. Your brain can't think deeply about every minuscule interaction going on in each game, so it develops autopilot habits, like go-to solutions, like punishes, options in neutral, recovery routes, edge guards, all that and more. Even though you aren't thinking consciously, you actually are thinking on a subconscious level when you're on autopilot. In this way, your subconscious thinking will control a great deal of how you actually improve. If you have a lazy subconscious mind, one that doesn't try to adapt, you will plateau in skill. It's why many players have played for years but seem to stay in the same group of skill while new prodigies rise up every single day. This lazy subconscious is the bad kind of autopilot we want to stay away from. The good kind of autopilot is when our subconscious mind is programmed correctly. To ensure the subconscious mind is working in your best interest to continuously adapt and develop the most optimal gameplay, you must do two things. The first thing is to ensure your subconscious mind has no limiting beliefs. You must believe you have so much more to learn at all times. You must always believe you could beat anyone. And even if you don't intend to, you absolutely must believe you can learn any character in the game. The second is to continuously challenge your subconscious mind with conscious thought. I do this in two steps. The first step I do is notice flaws in my play when they occur. Like when I do something unsafe on shield. I consciously notice to myself I made that error. But the key here is to not judge that mistake. Do not call yourself dumb, do not get aggravated with your play, and do not call yourself bad. The key is to notice without any judgment, frustration, or even deep thinking. You notice, and then you ignore, and your subconscious mind will fix these mistakes on its own majority of the time. The second step is to implement deep thought when you notice a recurring mistake that has not been automatically fixed by your subconscious. This conscious thought must be done after playing or between games and never to be done while you play. Between games, after games, is where you problem solve, theorycraft, lab, and practice in training mode, consciously, so that your subconscious can do better later. In this way, when you play, thou shall not think, but only notice. And when you do not play, thou shall notice, and then think deeply. If you wish to learn more about these modes of thinking, I cannot recommend enough the two reads Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman and The Inner Game of Tennis by Timothy Galway. They are in my reading list in the description below as always, as affiliate links, in which you'll also be supporting me and my content, which I always appreciate so very much. If this video was insightful, please hit that DK thumbs up, spank that subscribe button, do not forget to share, have a swell evening, and I will see you next time.